grace and peace my dear brothers and sisters in christ and today is the fifth sunday of easter and we have three beautiful readings especially the gospel i felt it's very timely scripture is always timely because Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 Jesus Christ yesterday today tomorrow always the same and today's gospel gospel of John chapter 14 verses 1 to 12 it's a beautiful words it says do not let your hearts be troubled you trust in God trust also in me in my father's house there are many places to live in otherwise i would have told you i am going now to prepare a place for you so the word of god says to us is speaking to us do not let your heart be troubled if we examine ourselves most of the time we get troubled sometimes that disturbance can be intellectual spiritual emotional and all aspects this troubles sometimes we are so restless because our soul is not fully rest with our creator the beautiful words of saint augustine our heart will be restless until we rest in thee it's very important in this particular time it's a great opportunity for all of us to strengthen our faith jesus very specially prepared all of us that in the world because he knew that in the world we all have to face troubles difficulties that is why jesus said john 16 verse 33 that beautiful word of god says in the world you will have hardship when we have hardships difficulties we need to remember this jesus never said in the world everything will be you are not going to have any troubles any difficulties but the word of god is reminding all of us in the world you will have hardship jesus was not saying you may have hardships but the word of god says you will have difficulties we all have difficulties and that all the difficulties are always a good teacher for all of us that struggles failures everything is god is using that god is empowering all of us to become truly great truly be with the lord so the word of god it's very beautiful in the world you will have hardships but be courageous i have conquered the world somehow when we remain with the lord how are we going to conquer this world in our life when the times test difficulties comes we have to remain firm strong humble and trustworthy then only we will be able to say at the end of our life like saint paul said to timothy chapter um to timothy uh, saint paul's uh, beautiful words he said chapter 4 verses 6 to 8 he said 
as for me, my life is already being poured away as a libation. And the time has come for me to depart. I have for the good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. This is very important. So today's gospel is also Jesus very explicitly speaking to us that we all should have faith in him and his father, that is our heavenly father. So that is what we have to do in this. Sometimes we do not know where we are going. That is why the scripture very clearly said, Matthew 6, 25 to 33, and also Matthew 16, 24 to 26 also we hear a different thing Jesus said, Take up your cross daily and follow me. And once we follow him daily, 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 and after some time we'll come to know that we have already lived years and fulfilled a mission. And sometimes we ourselves may wonder, how did I endure all the difficulties I had to face at that particular time? And many great people have said this. That is, the secret is Christ. Whenever we have difficulties, he gives us grace. 1 Corinthians 10, 13, it says, God will never give any trials, any temptations, any difficulties beyond our strength. Our strength comes from God. So we don't need to worry about it. We don't need to worry about tomorrow. But we have to cling to Jesus. That is the most important thing. There are some beautiful Psalms that are always very helpful. Psalm 25, Psalm 143. It all says to pray. It says, Lord, show me the road that I must walk. And we need to constantly pray. Sometimes we may feel I am stuck. Sometimes we may feel that I am in a, in, a, in a junction. Sometimes we may experience that I am already the dead end. And sometimes we may see that I can see the end of the tunnel. But whatever it is, God is the infinite horizon of our life more we know him, more we will experience this. And God can make wonders in our life. Sometimes we have to have faith like Abraham. Romans 4, 19 to 20. He had a great faith. He believed and at the end it fulfilled. Even in our life also, whenever we live in this world, something we should never forget. That is very, very simple. In order to know that, you don't need to study theology at the Gregorian University or elsewhere, or to have a big degrees. But we learn from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, the first thing, who created us? God created us. For what purpose God created us? God created us to know him, love him, and to be with him. So that is the very purpose of our life. And whatever we do, we have to keep that in front of us. Like when we just put in the GPS when we travel. Our final destination should be that eternal life. And we all have to live with that mind every day. God created me and God has a plan for me. Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 11 to 14. God has a plan for all of us. And God created all of us to become saints and how are we going to become saints? Wisdom 6, 6 to 10. 
and we have to live our daily life. We have to be totally forgetful about ourselves and thoughtful of others and keep Christ always in front of our eyes. Hebrews 12, 1 to 5. And we have to move forward. That is what we are called to do. And we should never forget at the end of this, whatever happens in this world, there is something called eternal life. All, our, all of us have to die today or tomorrow, or whatever, whenever, only God knows. But one thing, that is not the last word of our life, but eternal life. And we all have to work for that every day. And everything happens in small ways, small steps, small drops, brick by brick. And when we trust in God and live our life, our life will become truly meaningful. Our life will become truly enthusiastic. And our, we will be inspired. And that is a very important thing. So we sometimes we have to inspire us. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 6 to 8, St. Paul said, to fan into flame the spirit God has given to us. And we have to inspire others. And today's first reading, I like that usage, prompted. But today's word of course says prompted by jealousy. We need to be prompted by the Holy Spirit. That's what we are called to do every day in our life. If we want to be prompted by the Holy Spirit, our heart should be clean. Matthew 5, 8, blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. And grace needs to work through us. We don't need to worry about the result because we are not the one who is touching. So what is the most important thing in our life? What an apt, timely word of God for all of us. Do not ever be afraid. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You trust in God. Trust in God is amazing. In Psalm 146 says, it is better to trust in God than trust in princes or whatever in the world. We have to trust in God. We have to trust him constantly. And once we have the trust there is a beautiful psalm I like, Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where shall my help come from? My help shall come from the Lord. That trust is very important. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 12 and 13 says also, Faith, love, and hope. We should never lose these three things. And this not only really just to lose, somehow we have to keep alive in our life. We have to become the carriers of that beautiful gifts and grace what God has given to us. We have to encourage each other. Sometimes with a smile, with a good word, word of God. And many ways we can be uh, give encouragement to everyone. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and today's word of God, do not be afraid. Do not let your hearts be troubled, whatever the troubles you are going through at, the, at this point of time. Sometimes it's also a trouble because it's time, the time we cannot go to church, we cannot make a confession, we cannot approach the sacraments, but whatever it is, we should always remember God knows us, God loves us. And he is giving us an opportunity for all of us. I'm also remembering today is a Mother's Day. I was just thinking, whenever I think about Mother's Day a few years ago, when I was in the college, 
in rome while uh, one of the formal dinner i was uh, uh, one of the formal dinners while i was sitting with a, a group of ladies uh, in 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 the uh, the place where i was sitting and one old irish lady said we had uh, several discussions and this lady said if i ever become a pop then everyone just looked at her then after a wonderful pause she said i will canonize all mothers then i said i agree with you and then after that we had a, a long i think 2 hours of discussion about uh about our mothers we all have mothers and they're very special for all of us and there are no words to praise them there are no replacement for them their love their unconditional forgiveness love service and sometimes we may wonder we may wonder where do they get this energy to work tirelessly sometimes we may say it's like a machine that's only one thing their love their strength came from that great love for us they loved us i remember and that is the most important thing and today as a mothers day we remember all our mothers and we pray for them i remember one of the beautiful moving speech given by mother teresa of calcutta in canada she started the thousands of people were gathered there and she started she said let us now say one our father one hail mary and one glory be for our parents our mothers because they said first yes to god for us that's why we are today alive that's why today we are living in this world so therefore we will conclude today's reflection with a moment of silence and pray for all our mothers sometimes some of our mothers might be there already in heaven some of our mothers are elsewhere or some of our mothers are very close to us but whoever it is there are no replacement nobody can beat nobody can replace so therefore i agree with that irish lady said if i ever become a pop that she said and that is because it's very relevant i agreed what she said saint augustine said saint augustine after his conversion he had a great you know he was very focused he knew there is heaven he knew he gave up everything he was just waiting to embrace heaven for the time his mother died very clearly he himself said he cried a lot and later he has written beautifully almost 18 years or more 23 years my mother cried all her blood turned to become tears just because of me and i am the fruit of her tears and i'm sure most of us are sitting here maybe because of the tears of our mothers which we might have not noticed it but there were tears there were silent screamings screams which we do not know so therefore let us 
one second remember all our mothers. And even in this difficult special time, everyone is having maybe holidays, but they have no holidays. They are working extra hard. So we pray for them. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, ever shall be world without end. Amen. There are mothers who are also listening this talk, and happy Mother's Day, and we love you, and this world continues because of you.